Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to send recurring emails. And with this one, this is going to be the start of our tutorial. And that being said, if you're watching this with your iOS devices or MacBook, please stay in the video even though I'm using a Windows OS right here because the process is literally the same. So let's get started. So the thing here, the key point, the most important part on this video is that you don't open Outlook right away. So might as well open up a Gmail or Outlook. Please don't do that because that is the first mistake you're going to do. So the first one I want to teach you is going to be this one. Simply click in the applications right there. And then this is going to be the whole new application list, right? Again, please don't open Outlook here. Don't open Mail or whatsoever. The one I want you to open is going to be this one called Power Automate. Once you click on this one, you'll be directed on this website. And then you're just going to wait for it to load up. Now, it's just going to ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account. It's just going to be a very quick process. Please do sign in. And with this one, you'll see this landing page. So again, this should be the landing page you're seeing also in your end to get started. Now, simply click on Create option right there. And then you'll be redirected on this landing page also. So as you can see in the bottom part, it's very powerful. Starting from follow out a message, schedule a reply save a message to OneNote, and so on and so forth. But the thing that we want to focus on is the recurring email. So to proceed with that one, we need to click on Scheduled Cloudflow. Please click on the middle option right there. And you'll see this pop-up notification that says Build a Scheduled Cloudflow. So basically, we're going to name our Cloudflow first. Let's just say Sample 2. And then with this one, we're going to ask, or rather, this specific website is going to ask, when is the start? At what time and date? For example, this one's going to start today. At 10 a.m., repeat every one, two, or three minutes. Now, this also can be changed, for example, one, and that can be also the day. That means once every day or every two days or every three days. Okay? Now, being said, simply click on Create to proceed with this one. And you'll be directed on this landing page where you can basically edit your new email. So for this one, you'll choose new step. And then you'll see this option. So remember I told you don't click on Outlook just yet earlier. Because this is the part we're going to click Outlook. So you'll see this Office 365 right there. You'll have two options first. So type Outlook. And then this is the part where you choose from one Outlook to another. So the difference of Office 365 and Outlook.com is that this Office 365 is for paid version members. So since I'm here having a free account, I'm going to use this one. And then basically look for send an email version 2. This one right here. Click on it. And then you'll be directed on this part of the set message that's going to be selecting the email itself. So choose the specific people you want to send this email. For example, I'm going to choose sample email or rather sample work email at yahoo.com or just gmail.com. Easy as that. Because I don't have a sample work email, I'm just going to use this one. And then the subject would be, let's just say, sample email. And that being said, the body for this one is going to be, it depends on you what message you want to send, reminding everyone to take their lunch, or either your lunch. And that being said, again, this is going to be by your own preference, may it be um, an email, a reminder, doesn't really matter. You, you don't have to copy my end. I'm just showing the ropes, okay? So with this one, you're good to go as it is. But if you want to take it a step further, show this advanced option right there. With this one, you'll see that you can CC and BCC people. You also can send from send as also. So you don't have to send on your main email. So attachment, this is just going to basically going to be a PDF a video, a photo, it's really up to you. So reply to, this is also can be made. And of course, the importance, may it be low, normal, or high. Now, if you're satisfied with this one, simply click on save. And then wait for it to save up. So you'll see this, your flow is ready to go. We recommend you test it. Again, this specific website recommends us to test this flow. How to do that, basically click on this test option at the top right corner. Click on test, you'll have two options. 
So manually or automatically, but we cannot choose manually as so or rather automatic as of now because there are no runs for this flow. So I'm gonna go with manually. Click on test. And basically the website itself is testing this flow. And that being said, click on run flow. So your front flow successfully started. So monitor it, go to flow runs pages. Click on done. And then basically your flow ran successfully. There's no any problem. Now to check your flows, simply click on my flows right there. And this is the part where you can check your flows and edit it and play it any second of the day. So we, if you want to edit the body or the content, simply click on edit. You'll, you'll arrive on this landing page where you can edit your flow. If you want to play it, simply click on that run option right there. And then simply click on run flow. That being said, that's how you create a recurring email using your outlook. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.